I think you have to be like super something that's like super amazing that's happened to you. Yeah, you know, Bill Gates does talk about that. They do all of that by invitation only. It's like oh, yeah. people in the audience are paying like ten or twenty thousand yeah. dollars to go to the conference. Yeah, it's one of the most expensive but, conferences in the world. Yeah, I was. I thought I was looking. It was like ninety five hundred dollars yeah. to go because it started last week. And so I was my class. Um, we were going to go to um, the Roosevelt Icon because for the first time ever, they've done. Um, they picked some cinemas where they were going to show the opening night. For the for Ted, but we couldn't get a discount. I was only doing one quick to get a discount. It was like eighteen dollars, and I said ten dollars. That's it, and they wouldn't do it. So we didn't go. We just watched a few in class. But in this conference, people pay ten thousand dollars to go see. Is it all published online? Yeah, yeah. So if you go, um, if you go here, um, Shonda Rhimes. I watched hers yesterday. Hers was about um, my year of saying yes. So it's right here. Uh, so there she is. I didn't like it that much because it just didn't feel as authentic as some of the others. But um, she's just talking about how she's so busy and now she says yes to things. But yeah, they're all here. Mm -hmm. And students really like them. The one that I like a lot. I, I have a couple of favorites that um, I recommend to my um, students. And this is one of them. Is his, Simon Sinek, How Great Leaders Inspire Action. And so we actually read the book, Start With Why, and that's the basis of his TED Talk. So he's a really good one. Um, another good one is um, Amy Cuddy. I have my MBA students watch this one, and then we read the book too. Amy Cuddy, where are you? And hers is How Your Body Language Shapes Who You Are, another excellent one. And she has a new book out called Presence. Uh, that's a good one to watch. And she's a professor at Harvard. This is one about how, you know, power pose. Power pose. Yeah. yeah, that's her. Um, and then another good one that I use in my forensic class is um, this one, Paula Meyer. Paula, where are you? Um, Paula, isn't that your name, Paula? Okay, let me just do live spotting. I must be spelling something wrong. This is the one. Pamela. Pamela Meyer. How to Spot a Liar. Um, that's a good one that I show in my class, and that's the one that also has the animation to it. Um, another one that is a... Uh, he's a professor at Duke, um, Dan Airely. His is good. His, his are also good. Uh, Airely. That's how you spell your last Dan. Um, A R I E L Y. A R I E L Y. Yeah. Okay. So his are good too. Um, so I, I try to going back to your question, James. Like in my three-hour classes, I try to put like some type of change. So I typically keep my cell phone on the desk and I put my timer on. And so in my three-hour classes, I try to change like every twenty-two minutes. In my hour and 20 minute classes, I try to change like every nine minutes. So just sort of teaching in nuggets is what has helped from doing that experience for me. Do you know what's going to happen with the DePaul TEDx talks? I mean, they're not going to go to like TED.com. No, right? but I think, so the TEDx are all independent of TED. Um, so they're like franchises of TED. And I don't know what they do with them. I went to... The T DePaul one a couple years ago. It was good, but I don't know what actually happens to the filming of the talks. Um, I know I've seen a couple from the Midwest, Ted, end up online somewhere. But um, I don't know who manages our whole process. So I'll show you one more thing since we um, have a few minutes. So th this was one of the reasons why um, I wanted to keep... I wanted to keep Rita and that story in my um, lesson because this is our website that we just launched. And so um, let's see where I see other pictures. There's Rita. She doesn't look very nice, does she? There's our trophy room. We were there. That's one of our pictures. 
So you guys see those trophies at the top? Um, so all of her things have been um, auctioned off. And so when that was happening, of course, I started buying stuff. So I bought the shirt that Rita wore to work that says um, City of Dixon, Rita. So I have that. And then I bought um, 10 of her horses because I just had to have some. So we have 10 of the statues um, that she won. So if we ever do a Kickstarter, then maybe we'll use the statues to give away like somebody really will want those. But anyhow, so that's my story. And um, if you want to do this and you think you have a really good idea, I'm happy to just bounce some ideas off of you off with you and if you want um, any additional information um, I'm happy to share whatever I can this was the main thing though just thinking of the brainstorming titles um, and it was much harder than I thought because once you watch that once you talk to them they're very strict on what they want you to write about and how it needs the voice that it needs to have and so I went into this process thinking that they were like the whistleblower one because all the lying stuff that they had, but they hated that one. So um, something else I did is I went and checked their website and just did a search of different topics that they already had. So I went here and when I put in fraud, so I went in the search box and put in fraud, nothing came up. So I knew that there was a void in the fraud piece. So if you want to do something like this, I would encourage you to sort of check and see. Um, if you just look, there are the psychology of, no, oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> oh, that's probably good. Let's see. I'll have to watch that later today. So it must be new because only 627 views. So they, they must have just posted that one today. But this is probably really good. And so like saying just being that it's an idea worth sharing, I may put this and link it to our film's website just because Rita probably had a little bit of narcissism. So we might do that. But I would encourage you to just go back and make sure you look to see the topics um, that they have because a lot of them are geared towards the social sciences, but not to say that there's not um, areas for us like tax or um, investments like the history of it or the stock market. So, you know, just search and see what they have. Because all I can say is no. Can you tell us about your real So, um, with that, I needed money to start the film. So, um, I started an organization to raise money to finish that. So, we've raised money from about four different groups to get the film done. Um, so, yeah, that's I sure am. Good grief. We have to get this done now. So, end of the, no, September. I'm done with it. I've been doing this a long time. And unless Rita herself calls me, I'm done talking. But what's interesting about um, the film is because we did the soft launch of the website yesterday, all of these people from the equestrian community are coming out now saying, I worked with her. I showed against her. I would love to talk to you. Um, we have pictures of her. She was a fraud all the time. There's lots of people that are fraudulent in this industry. How do we get in touch with you? So, yeah, we need to interview some more people now. So, anyhow, that's that's that project. Is it because it's supportive of the resources that I can help you do this work? This is, <laughs> there is a need in I know. I'm not, why would you ask me that? I have said, he said, um, I haven't asked. There was a lot that happened. At the beginning of the other project. Well, that led to this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think, yes, of course. <laughs> at, at some point, we had to cut it off because it was a, I mean, it, it's an expensive project. Absolutely. So we have to spread the wealth a little bit over all the faculty. Um, but we. Uh, Thanks, Keith. We did, we gave her a jump start. So we were an angel investor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so we are. Um, I'm doing this film. All the Queen's Horses is being um, co-produced with Cartem Quinn Films. And they're based here in Chicago. Oh, wait. I spelled you wrong. Um, I'll show you. Have you ever heard of Hoop Dreams? Yeah. yeah. That's Cartem Quinn Films. 
And so um, I did a film fellowship with them a couple years ago when Dan cut me off. <laughs> and um, from that, this is their website. How do I spell it? Cartem Quinn. From Cartem Quinn. So this is Cartem Quinn. They're celebrating their 50, year, 50 years in film now. And so um, we are co-producing with them. And um, this is an expensive project. Very because they're like real film producers, like Oscar nominated, Emmy award winning. So it's been a, it's been interesting, but good, good experience. You know, it really depends on how much the professional animation that does, how much that costs. Yes. Um, so I contacted a couple of their animators, and they are twenty five thousand dollars for sixty seconds of animation is what they told me. And so that was four minutes. So, mm -hmm. and that's not the composer, not including the composer, um, who knows how much that was. Because that, that Ted Lesson had a uh, composer too. But you can always use our mini studio. Yeah. Up on the eighth floor. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a good drawer? Well, um, sometimes you only need to do a good drawer. So one of the really cool things there is you can annotate on top of something you have. Uh -huh. uh, and that's working really well for students sometimes. Yeah. Um, but if you're looking for animation, um, we can start to go a bit harder. We sometimes approach CBM. Yeah, students. That, yeah. yeah. Students. So there are opportunities there. Okay. So is everyone going to apply to Ted now? You should. You should. Um, just think through your idea. I mean, make sure it's it's a clear sentence. Like you can say it in one sentence. Like, I want to talk about fill in the blank. Because if you can't, then you probably won't be successful with this. And it's hard for us because we talk so much and use a lot of words to say things that are very simple. And they want simple, you know? So. So thank you so much to Kelly for today. Yeah. Uh,